All right, so we're going to be drawing something a little different today. This is a uh, picture that I found someone sent me of a tractor from the 50s. Pretty excited for this one, to be honest with you. This one, uh, it's just a cool picture. It really is. And uh, Sitting up in the new studio, still having some technical difficulties with my front camera, but nobody actually wants to see me anyway, so this is fine. And uh, just going to get started. All right. <coughs> New studio, new desk, new everything. It's kind of like starting fresh here. It's pretty nice. It's also kind of nerve wracking to start with a new desk because you don't really know the nuances of it. First time streaming with it. Like, Hoping it sounds all right. Hoping it looks all right. All that type of stuff. Probably won't finish this drawing tonight or today. This one's going to take a while. Got a full background on it. I don't do a lot with full backgrounds because they just take so much out of me. But we're going to try it for this one because it's just such a cool picture. I think my favorite thing on this new desk is the side. It's got a place that holds all my pencils real close to me. Very organized. I just like that. to get 
get my boundaries of where I'm at. On the photo, <clears throat> where I'm at right now is up in top corner here. Darken this section up just a little. It's pretty quiet here today. Let's say that. For this drawing, I want to spend just a little more time than I normally do on each section. Really want this one to turn out good. I just—it's too good of a reference photo not to do a good job with it. I got some likes going on. Thanks for the likes, guys. Appreciate you tapping that screen on TikTok over there. So we're live currently on YouTube and TikTok. On uh, YouTube, we've got uh, the top-down view. TikTok, we just got the one view that my phone can capture. <laughs> That's all. saturate it pretty good. Okay.
good. All right, so I'm just tracking out where we're at here. We've got, looks like some cinder blocks here, cinder block wall of some sort. That I'm gonna be focusing on a little bit now. doing Nosh 2022 not sure where your name starts and stops there sorry if I butchered it how you doing today Here, there's like some calcium streaks here where like some stuff has run with the rain. I really like the weathered look of that. It's gonna do a pretty good job blending in there a little bit. the drilling has been trying to get back into drilling some time now but my commissions on painting keep me away I've uh, I just got back into drawing today actually <laughs> I set up this new studio to try to inspire me you know I, I, I burnt myself out I tried to do too much uh, just too much too fast and I knew it would happen eventually and uh, around November I took on a few commissions, drawing commissions for for Christmas presents for folks, and I did I did too many too quick. And uh, anyway, by the time I was done those, I just I was done. <laughs> I wasn't ready to touch any more commissions, any more drawing for fun, nothing for a little bit. I did two drawings since the three drawings since then. I did one while I was on vacation, with Oliver Tractor. I did one of my brother's tractor just to keep me going. It was my last one of 2021. And then I did one while I had COVID back in uh, uh, well, a month and a half or so ago. And I did one in January, I guess it was. Um, I had COVID and I drew one of, of my dad's tractor that I've been wanting to do for a while. And... Uh, the, the problem is I've been so busy at work and then you know, I work from home now most of the time so I'll be sitting at the same desk to draw that I did set at the desk for eight to ten hours a day working and I just had no inspiration to do it so at this new office I've got a separate desk for work separate desk for home nice drawing desk that I've been looking at for a long time here and uh, I finally found it on sale and an affordable price I just went for it. So. I'm just happy to be back to drawing because this was the one thing that would relax me from you know, my ridiculous work schedule. And then I couldn't even do this anymore. So. <laughs>
Okay. This first row of blocks, it's not a lot. It's like just downward streaks is what it looks like to me. I'm just going to roll my blending stump a little bit, get a little bit different texture. Hello Lucas, how you doing? Burn myself out too. Just wanted to get these done and get back to creating what I want when I want. You know what? Me too. Uh, I burnt myself out bad in 2012 and I didn't start drawing again until 2020. That's bad. Um, and it, you know, I just, I gotta learn not to, not to take on too much, you know. And it was Christmas coming, I could use the money myself, so I justified it. And a couple of them were from, from friends, and honestly, friends are kind of the worst people to work for. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. So I took on some commissions that I shouldn't have taken on, knowing I shouldn't have taken them on. Just trying to help some people out. Did way too much, way too quick. I think I did six in one week in November. You know, start to finish drawings, six, and they weren't things I really even wanted to draw. They were, they were definitely burnout material, <laughs> stuff that I had really no business drawing. This is, you know, on theme with what I'm doing, but not the stuff that I want to do. And it is what it is. I'm back. <laughs> Hope to stay back. I find myself, I, I find it difficult to get commissions um, outside of the holiday seasons. And, uh, you know, not really sure why that would be. I mean, people seem to just want to spend more on holidays, and that, that's probably it. But I also think I could. I could do more if I just put myself out there a little more too, but also don't really want to put myself out there much more. Anybody else got the Reading Rainbow song stuck in your head after being on TikTok today? Seems like about every third video was uh, the Reading Rainbow theme song. Unless there's a new filter or effect that uses that. It seems to be bombarding my For You page today. <laughs> Brings back good memories, at least. Okay. That wall is about done. I have to put a few little details in. views your work is awesome well my YouTube site is pretty new um, I started it back I don't know late last summer early in the fall and I didn't do a ton with it I appreciate that by the way TikTok still slow it's a, it's a tough art is a tough thing to do on these social media platforms. Move this over just a smidgen. I want to be able to get all of this black area here all at once. This is all like really dark. I just want to get all that at once. So. Alright. Just do a dark line here. What 
we got here? This is interesting. There's I'm really not sure what I'm looking at. <laughs> That's the nice thing with my style of drawing. You don't have to know what you're drawing or what you're looking at to draw it. You, you just draw what you see. And then most of the time at the end, you'll sit back and be like, oh, that's what it is. <laughs> I see. Okay. I need more white up here. I want to do some streaks of white in here. Pretty dark, too. Hopefully, they'll come through as almost a wood grain pattern without looking like I tried to draw wood grain. <laughs> Three hundred pharma. I think it's a four hundred. This uh, this picture that I'm working off of was taken. I, they said 1954. I, I don't know if that adds up or not. Honestly, it's, it's in the 50s. We knew it's in the 50s. And then the uh, the guy that I'm drawing it for. I think this is great grandfather's farm. They still have the same tractor there. He sent me the original picture. He's like, can you draw this this tractor? And it's a it's a new picture just taken recently next last couple of years and uh, I said that's cool and I didn't pay a ton of attention to it because it was during my my burnout phase where I was not really wanting to draw anything but then he sent me a, a second picture say hey we found this picture from 1954 of the same tractor and I'm like now you've piqued my interest so I saved saved it in my Instagram inbox and then uh, he uh, I went to draw it this morning but it for some reason didn't save in my inbox so I had to ask him for it again luckily he was able to get it to me and I was able to start on it I'm pretty excited about this Super saturating this. I want it to be real dark. Probably the darkest thing on the page. It's this little doorway here. What's up, Bulgarian farm boy? How you doing? <clears throat> smudge this out without losing as dark as it is this uh, this drawing it's going to take a few times to draw it's I'm not going to get it done in this live I know that I don't have enough time this drawing if I had to guess it's going to take me five or six hours to finish and uh, um, where am I? I don't know how far in I am right now <laughs> where's that stat it's got to be here somewhere I don't know, maybe 20 minutes in or so, half hour. The uh, leaves down here and the stones in front and the hay bales are the parts that I think if I can make them work going to really pop. If I can't make it work, it's going to just suck. <laughs> so, they're the parts that have me nervous out of everything. But I have high hopes and worst case, I'll throw it away if it doesn't turn out. I think whenever I end up drilling the next section, that's when uh, it'll actually get really interesting. 
I might barely get into the tractor today, but more than likely it's going to be just a lot of barn drawing today, which is not the most interesting thing in the world. It's cool, but it's not like the thing people like to watch. desk moves a lot more than I'm used to. I'm going to have to figure that out. Bolt her down a little more or something. She's got a lot of wobble in her. This is also my first time actually working off of a desk and not just a drawing board, so maybe that's what it's supposed to do. Alright, there is the opening to the, I guess, the barn door. It looks like maybe a dairy or something hanging off the side of that barn door. Hey. Okay. That's right. My wife brought me some sort of juice. What flavor is this one? Leprechaun. Leprechaun, all right. Juice stop. <laughs> all right. Back to it. Followed you on TikTok since August or September. Well, you're pretty early then, because uh, I was only around August or September. <laughs> Maybe just no, I started. I started in June. So yeah, you've been around since pretty far back. I'll say that. Got my dog over here now. Both of them. Give it a few minutes. They'll start snoring. <laughs> By the way, for those that are uh, tuning in here, does it sound okay on, on YouTube? Because I've got a new new microphone set up, new camera set up, new everything, actually, but just making sure this microphone sounds all right. Everybody hear me all right? In theory, it should be much better than what I had. <laughs> in practice, though, who knows? Doing well and you yeah I'm, I'm doing good finally got some motivation to get back to the drawing board <laughs> literally back to the drawing board All right, these leaves they're gonna be they're gonna be trouble I just know it. Anybody got any suggestions on drawing leaves? Because <laughs> I sure really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> My thought is it's kind of like drawing an engine compartment to a tractor. I think if I put a bunch of little dots and nuances underneath of it and then just shade it kind of dark and let this stuff pop out from behind and then add a little bit over it. Maybe that'll do. Also trying to follow like some of the basic shapes I'm seeing in the drawing here. I didn't get all of them obviously, but I'm seeing a lot of these like half, it's like a flattened C and some lines and then some circles. So not even circles, like oblonged circles. Um, at the same time, I'm also seeing some areas that are really dark, and I'm just trying to fill those in dark so that they'll come out dark as I go, while also trying to not make it look like I'm drawing leaves, and it just looks like leaves are here. So. I'm going to change up my pattern here and do a little like mini circles. Hopefully that'll add to my 
effect I'm trying for here. We keep a couple of these areas white. There's some snow on the ground in these pictures, I'm pretty sure. It's tough to see in the black and white. circles with this too I think. Actually, I want to clean this tip off just a little. Got a piece of sandpaper here and I dropped it. Of course I did. <laughs> there we go. Got her. All right. That's cleaned up a little. Still doing my little circles. Got my leaves popping through as I can see already. Trying to do some different size circles here too to break it up and kind of change in direction as I go. In some cases. following on YouTube I appreciate you guys sticking by there's not a bunch of you I get a lot of uh, watches after the fact though and honestly most of what I try to do on YouTube live is just to be able to easily capture the footage so that I can do the time time-lapse drawings later so it doesn't look like a ton of people it's pretty nice to actually have a few people in here watching Appreciate you guys very much. Compliments are nice, and I get that. I get a lot of compliments, and it's, it's pretty nice. I get a few critiques. I'm okay with that too, honestly. It makes me better. All right, I'm I'm liking the way this is looking. It's the really close. It looks terrible, but as I lean back in my chair a little bit, I think it's going to turn out. I really do. So I, I think. Can move my. Uh, I can move my thing over. This is my reference drawing I'm actually working off of here. It's just a paper copy that I've got taped beside me. Got it halved over so I can focus a little more. I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually do the rim right now on this. This wheel. Um, I think I want to set the tone of the whole tractor off of that. Because there's some bright spots in there and there's some real dark spots in there. So if I can capture both of those. Um, I probably will finish a little another section. Maybe the wheel and a little bit of this. And then I'll probably be done for right now. And we'll come back later and start again. So, Alright. With this rim. See in. There's lines right in here I'll pull it up on the iPad too hold on a second y'all just a second all right there we go all right it darkens as it gets down here blend between those two
think right here is my bright highlight. It goes up pretty far. It'll blend into the darkness up here a little bit, but I'm going like, to make that really bright. Here's where the painted red wheel starts, I think. Okay, let's blend her out and see where she ends up. Old Deer Fisher, how you doing? This is the this drawing right here. It's probably got me most excited of any drawing that I'm doing. It's not a tractor that I personally know, and I think it's just because it's this old vintage photo, you know, from the 50s, that just really just sets it apart, makes it really good, and it's a color photo from the 50s too. Okay. Very nice. Alright. There's the rim. That rim's looking pretty good. I'll brighten it up just a little more down here on the bottom. And blend it out just a little more. Okay, there's that. I'm going to work this back section here. I'm seeing, what do I see? In here, there's a little bit of a bright spot. And then, where am I at? Up here. There's a, looks like a hole in the wood of some sort right here. Wear that out just a little bit. Up here. It's tough to see what's going on here, but let's see. There's a shelf of some sort here, it looks like, or a beam, maybe. A hayloft beam, maybe. second beam right here. We're going to ignore this for right now. I just put a quick edge on it. And this is all really dark hayloft up here, looks like. I'll saturate that pretty dark. Official that farm boy, how you doing? You're wearing the IH hat. I, I am. <laughs> I am wearing the IH hat. That uh, that one back there is my dad's hat. But I'm wearing my own hat. Then 
between. Okay, it's pretty dark back here, but it fades to a little bit lighter up here, and there's some boards and stuff in here that we want to capture. So we'll do that. And then at the top of this, I'm just going to pour a white line across the top here. We'll, we'll figure that out later. That's the top of the tire, though. I think that'll blend in to something. Fix my hat quick. Back at it. Now, I'm changing my pressure a little bit to uh, try to blend the colors to what I see as I go. Right in here, you notice we'll put a white stripe in there a while ago. There's a, <laughs> there's a, a beam, kind of an angled beam that goes up there. I just want to catch that. So I think I caught it pretty good. Just something here. This needs to come down more like that. Yes. that section. She's looking all right. I need to have more patience for drawing. Me too. I'm taking my time on this one. I really want this one to turn out really good. So, ah, Debating whether I do this tire or if I call it a good stopping point. I think I might do more of this while I've got it here and then I'll, I'll be done for this session. And uh, you know that goes with what you just said, taking my time, because I like to get ahead of myself. And if I don't watch, next thing you know, I'll try to do this whole thing in one sitting, and then I'll start rushing in the middle of it, and rushing at the end, and it just don't look as good. So I'm gonna do this one little section yet, and I'll be done for a few hours. I might come back. Oh, late tonight or something. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Otherwise, it'll be tomorrow or sometime. Sometime this week, maybe, I don't know.
Okay. There's that. And uh, I want to get a little bit better look at the tires before I do any more. So that's what we've got for this afternoon. I'll, uh, I'll finish up the rest later. I'm pretty happy with the way it's turned out so far. It's uh, going all right. So thank you all for stopping by. I'm going to end my YouTube live stream now. And then uh, I'll talk on TikTok just a few more minutes. But I'll be ending that one very shortly. So thank you all for stopping by. Catch you later.